Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. Hello, Michelle Fabrica, a love and relationship coach, and John Coleman, my partner. <laughs> Hi, Art. Hey, Michelle. Uh, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Always love your advice. And uh, I was talking about forgiveness uh, recently. And how do you forgive somebody? This is a forgiveness is a big part of life. It's very important. How can you? How do you learn to forgive? Well, I have an answer to that. Um, so I there's a person, Fred Luskin, who's developed a nine-step process to forgiveness. And so the cool thing about this is that it's actually, it's not something you just have to just know how to do. And it's not, our culture generally is not as big on forgiveness as it is about like revenge and things like that. And at least certainly in movies and, and such, but forgiveness is basically a skill that can be developed through learning and practice. And um, yeah, should I just go into the steps? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, okay. I, I, okay. That sounds perfect. That almost makes it sound easy. Yeah, well, it, it's something that we can get better at. And um, I think that's uh, heartening because a lot of people like, they don't know how to start. They don't know how to do it. So uh, I'll get into it. Yeah. So the first step is to know exactly how you feel about what happened and be able to articulate about the, what about the situation was not okay. And then you want to be able to tell a trust, you know, trusted friends or family about your experience. So kind of get compassion um, and empathy from people about what happened to you. And the number two is to make a commitment to yourself to feel better because forgiveness is for you and no one else. It has nothing, we're not necessarily, it's not about the other person at this, at this point. It's just for ourselves because we want to feel better. We don't want to be carrying that grudge and that resentment. So you make a commitment to feel better. The third step is it doesn't mean reconciling with the person who upset who upset you. It doesn't mean condoning the action. In, in the forgiveness, you seek the peace and understanding that comes from blaming people less after they offend you and taking those offenses less personally. So you're really about empowering yourself right? It's about helping yourself. Any well, comments, questions so far? Should I keep going? <laughs> yeah, no, good. keep going. Okay, uh, yeah, I, right. this, this is very useful. Yeah, so it's important. That step number four is to get the right perspective on what is happening and recognize your primary distress is coming from your hurt feelings and thoughts and, you know, physical upset that you're suffering now. And it's not from what happened, you know, a minute ago, 10 years ago, whatever. So it's kind of like noticing that we're getting upset in this moment about something from the past and that that's where the distress is coming from right now. And in the moment you feel upset, step number five, you can practice some stress management um, techniques to soothe your body's fight or flight response. And step number six, Give up expecting things from, from your life or other people that they do not choose to give you. And, you know, you can hope for certain responses from people or for certain things to happen in life, but you will suffer if you expect or demand these things to happen. They're not in our control, right? Number seven, put your energy into looking for other ways to get your positive goals met rather than through the experience that's hurt you. And then number eight is remember that a life well lived is your best revenge. So instead of focusing on your wounded feelings and giving power over to the person who you know caused you pain, learn to look for love, beauty, and kindness all around you and put more energy into appreciating what you have rather than attending to what you don't have. And then the, the, the final step, number, ninth step, is to amend the way you look at your past and so you remind yourself of your heroic choice to forgive. Wow, these mm. are these are uh, they kind of cover everything, don't they? I mean, it's it's really good. I like uh, I especially like number eight. I'm adopting number eight whole hog. A life well lived <laughs> is the best revenge. Best revenge. I love that. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, yeah. Michelle, is it 
Is it possible for you to go down those nine again with just a couple of words? I, this is a list I'd like to keep. Uh, I'd like, to like, bullet, like bullet points, just one, yeah, two, power, three, four. Give me the yeah. PowerPoint version of the nine steps. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so um, um, know exactly um, what you feel about what the situation that happened that's not okay. So know how you were harmed, basically. Make a commitment to yourself to feel better. Mm. It doesn't have anything to do with the other person reconciling them or you know having a conversation with them necessarily. It's not about them. Um, you're just seeking your own peace and understanding. Um, get the right perspective on what's happening. Recognize that, oh my God, if I'm upset now about what happened, I'm having the reaction. And then in that moment, um, get, uh, use some stress, you know, re relaxation techniques to soothe your body's fight or flight. Um, number six is give up expecting people, expecting other people to do or say, or whatever you want them to say, because we're, they're out of our control. Right. And so that's, uh, number seven is to put your energy into looking for positive things that are losing my fingers here, that are happening. And then number eight, uh, art's favorite. Remember that a life well lived is your best revenge. And number nine is to amend the way you look at yourself. So at, at your past, so you can remind yourself, I chose to forgive. And there's something heroic in that. Uh, that's great. That's, uh, you know, listen, each one of those steps could be an hour talk show. I mean, really, they're, mm -hmm. they're that profound. But what I like is I like seeing them all together. One, two, three, four, five, one through nine. I, that that looks like a process to me, which I think yeah. would be very helpful. Yeah. Just go through those nine steps. Um, it would be very helpful to to forgive. And for me, the most important takeaway today is that forgiveness is really not about the other person. Yeah. Somebody has harmed me. And it's not about making them better. I forgive because I need to heal. That's, Absolutely. that's really profound. That's important. Yeah, you know what I really like about this is you've given uh, a gift to John and to me, because if I feel I need to forgive John or John feels he needs to forgive me, I'm going to say three. And John, <laughs> John's going John's to know that I forgive him. Eight. Got it. <laughs> I love or, it. So, or maybe, or maybe two, or maybe ten, because John, you, that's one to nine combined. That's together. after the nine steps are done. I'm forgiven. Thank you, Art. Right. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, the, the, you know that. Uh, what's the name of the guy who created those steps? Fred Luskin. Well, he did everybody a great service. Um, because forgiveness sounds so big and so complicated, by breaking it down into those nine steps, it makes it accessible for people. It, it means that uh, uh, if we follow, you know, you follow that trail, if you will, you can forgive. You can forgive. You can heal. And that's for me. That's what forgiveness right. is. Heal. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've conflated the word forgiveness to mean like you know, accepting what the other person did in some way, or that that means we condone it. That means we have to make amends. I mean, you might never, you might choose to not have this person in your life anymore. And that's your choice. It has nothing to do with that other person. It's just the word itself is about you and your, you know, well, this is the way he's defined it in these steps. It's about you and your own experience. And that's what you're trying to heal. Not about, you know, oh, I have to let this person, you know, back in my life. No. Those are that's a different decision. That's a different and when all, thing. Uh, you know, I uh, I quickly Googled uh, this doctor, and there actually it's a tenth one. When one to nine fails, number ten is unfriend them on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you can't forgive, unfriend them. Oh, uh, anyway, Michelle, thank you. This is I think an important lesson for everybody. Very useful, and thank Dr. Yeah, I'm happy Fred. to share it. Yeah, thank Dr. Fred for it. Fred, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you again soon with more great advice on love and relationships. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, thank you. Great to be here.
For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.